This is an introduction to breadboards. This is the breadboard that you'll find in your green case. And if it's not done already, uh, just remove these power rails. There's two of them. And we'll work with these later. But for now, we're just going to work with this unit right here. And uh, the breadboards are perfect for prototyping, testing, um, or creating a trial. And there's a separate video uh, that goes into de great depth on uh, pro uh, breadboards, uh, the history of breadboards, and where they came from. And you'll be able to see that in a moment. Um, so let's uh, start by taking a look at the uh, rows and the columns. So columns run up and down and rows run left to right. And you'll notice that the columns on your uh, breadboard are marked at the top uh, and the bottom with uh, column A, B, C, D, E. Then there's a jump. F, G, H, I, and J. And then the rows are numbered 1, 2, 3, and all the way down to 30 down here. And uh, what's important to understand is that with the breadboard, the uh, rows, uh, these rows here, are connected uh, on one side of this jump. Okay, so let me explain that a little better. So if I take this yellow um, jumper wire found in your uh, Arduino set um, or electronic set, and I connect it here in the first row, number one, and I push it in, and then I take this red jumper wire and I connect it here in the first row of one, and let's say the F column. I'm just going to push push this in. It is now as if these two uh, jumper wires are connected or tied together or even uh, soldered together. And that is because of what's going on underneath, hidden to your eyes, uh, underneath this breadboard. Now, so uh, if uh, there's a, a an interesting piece here though that if I connect here in this first row and then I connect just underneath it in row number two these two jumper wires are not connected underneath it is only the rows that are connected from left to right the columns are not connected so let's take another look at that if I connect uh, here to the G column and then to the, let's just call it the J column, these two wires are connected. However, if I take this and move it over here into the G column going down, they are not connected. And that's because of what's going on behind the scenes here. Now, one other piece here that's important to understand is that if I put wires on either side of this jump, for example, row one, uh, the red cable here, red jumper cable, is connected to uh, H, the H column, and then in the same row, row one, uh, I connect over here to C. These two are not connected, and that is because of this split here. Uh, anything that is on either side of here is not connected. Uh, doesn't matter where it is, it is not going to be connected to this side unless uh, I were to do something like that. Now that is connected. Uh, I'll just slide this over here. This is connected because of this wire right here. Uh, it is connected in the same row. Now if I take this out, because they are on opposite sides, even in the same row, they are not connected and that is because of this divide right here. So that's important to understand about your breadboard. R rows are connected right here. They're co not connected running up and down. 
and that allows us to prototype and um, quickly and easily and you'll see this in uh, future projects that we do.